that's always good news because you get the high percentage looks, but more importantly, they've got to spread the wealth a little bit, and that means sharing the basketball. The stats will bear it out. Scoring's up. Nets basketball tonight on Yes from Continental Airlines Arena. Nets and the Sacramento Kings, we take a look at the Nissan starting lineup. Vince Carter, Nanad Christich, Jason Collins. In the front court, Jacques Vaughn and Jason Kidd. The guards, Nets are four and four with this starting five. Sat out that game. He's in there tonight with Mike Bibby and Catino Mobley in the backcourt. Sacramento won that first meeting 113 to 93 the Nets could not shoot straight 31 percent overall from the field and they fell to Minnesota 82 to 71 in a game that they led 19 to 5 veteran Joe Crawford young official Orlandis Poole and the former net Leon Wood now Leon back in his uh, one of his stopping grounds but as a referee Nets had a former NBA player last night officiating at Bernie Fryer but uh, there was, what, eight feet between Chris Webber and the nearest defender. No problem for C. Webb as he knocks that down. Carter swings it. Vaughn on a dump down. Good position. Christich, he beat Miller to the spot for the layup. Yeah, got himself big down low and a nice entry pass. Christich right underneath. Nothing Miller could do. And so you can't forget about him as he likes to spot up. Four of the five starters from Sacramento have scored already. Matt Barnes, the only one yet to register. Isolation for Vince. Finds Christich and a little jump up. Nice little shot there. And that's what Chris Webber is lacking since he had that knee surgery, that explosiveness. Normally, I think he would have blocked that shot. He as he was in between going for the steal or just teeing up tightly. Vince Carter a moment ago. See, he draws two, three defenders there. And Christich over C. Webb. Kid, early offense for Carter. Strokes the fadeaway, caught by Christich. No call on the inside. Collins able to save for Kidd. Good job staying with it, though, on the inside. And it's 14-12, Sacramento. Miller poked away by Christich. Christich goes down to get it. Miller finds Bibby. And the rainbow delivery doesn't go. Vaughn beat the Kings down the floor. And foul the goaltending call. Vaughn trying to stick with Bibby. Is this clean or not clean? Boy, that's about as close as you can get, but I don't think it had hit the board. And Bibby now with six. Carter will handle it. Kid off the ball. The slip by Christich and the layup. Also slipped through a double team right there at the end. You see him duck under. It looked like a couple of arms in there and name it all the way to the hole. Not the case so far this evening. More concerted effort, the feeling that they could get inside. More so against the other team in uh, last night in, in Minnesota. Mobley off that catch and shoot. Has it come off the rim? The ball fake and the J. Rebound, Kid for Christich. Extra feed, Vaughn's jumper. No good. Like the unselfishness, though, they had a couple of passes there. You get a good look. You got to continue that type of play. Bibby continues with that drive on a wraparound. Weber missed it. And Christich with the board. That's looking to regain the lead. Ten to shoot. Christich. Looks solid so far tonight. Barnes defended by Carter. They want the isolation for Weber. Ball fake. Weber pulling his way forward and... Unorthodox shot with a left hand. Nowhere to go there as he was swarmed under by a host of defenders. We will see Jabari Smith for the first time, replacing Nene Kristic. And Kristic exits with six points, five rebounds. Bibby the top man for the Kings. Nene Kristic, strong showing early. And let's reset the lineup. You saw some guy a lot in college at, mm -hmm. uh, at Wake, and he could shoot the ball. He was a... Very good, nice college player. Player. Very, Very good rugged, college player. Very good college player. Rugged, physical, rebound. You know, just a, a guy that, uh, a workhorse. Best force to give it up. Christich got bumped. Tip and attempt. And it comes out to Christich. 
and he gets the easy loose yeah. change. In the right place at the right time there for Nathan. And a good job of keeping it high. Didn't bring it back down. Nice little flip hook goes for Nathan. Eight points, six rebounds for Christian. Joey's been around a, a while, and he doesn't take too kindly to being questioned. Mobley. Miller. One too many. Yeah, it wasn't there. He was trying to make something happen, and that was an easy I'm not steal. sure Lars Frank knows who this guy is. He's going to quickly find out as he is having a night, or at least a half thus far. Had a cup of coffee with Minnesota in his second year out of Texas. Christich. Nice looking jumper from Nated Christich. Nated stepping out a little bit. Five straight field goals for the Nets. Carter now with nine. Christich is the high man with 10. Carter squares and short on a three. Christich looping it up in the air and Miller's got it. Weber feed down low. Christich. Good hustle. Came over to deny Miller. He had to get back quickly and able to get that shot from Miller. And a foul called as Carter was able to fling the ball near the rim. He's going to get two. Aiden Christen did a nice job in getting back in transition to get that shot by Miller on the swat. Jason Collins into the game, and Cliff Robinson sits. Bibby against Vaughn with eight to shoot. Bad pass there from Weber, otherwise he would have had a good look. And Chris Weber short on the jumper. Kid ahead. Vaughn back for Kid, and the finger roll rims out. Christich able to knock it in. Yeah, he just wore it off Mobley inside for the rebound as Kid's finger roll didn't go, and a good job from Nainit to keep him off and also get that one to go. And I'm sure they're going to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Miller puts it on the floor. Christich stands tall, and Miller missed the baby hook. Kid. Stop and go, kick out. Carter feeds it. Christich, oh, he's feeling it here in the first half. Been able to duck under that defense a couple of times tonight. 14.7 rebounds for Nated Christich. Nine, but then the Nets get hot. Nated Christich tipping home the kid miss. Playing big in the paint, Nets down five at that point. But again, the Nets rallied there late in the second quarter behind Christich and Carter, and it's 47 to 44 right now. Well, they're having an impact in the paint, and a big reason for that is the play of the rookie, Christich. He's been terrific thus far. At times, we wondered if he hit the rookie wall, but that hasn't happened, clearly. He's played 19 minutes tonight, very effective, very aggressive inside as the Nets hold a 22-10 edge in the paint. That's something you don't usually see, but Christich, a big reason for that. He's 7 of 11 from the field. He has 14 points and 7 rebounds in the first half. Now, Mike Bibby, again, four rebounds thus far in the game. He's the leading scorer for the Kings. Christich and Carter have already hit double digits for the Nets. All right, we'll take a quick break on Heineken at the half. When we come back, we'll take a look around the NBA. Complete post-game coverage immediately following the game. Enjoy the second half. Ian and Kelly coming up. Close ball game. The Kings only leading it by three at the break. But the key was the Nets got opportunities on the inside. They were able to take advantage, unlike last night, 22 to 10 as far as points in the paint. And I think an outstanding half from Nate and Christich, both scoring and rebounding the basketball. Oh, yeah, some of the best ball we've seen Christich play in quite some time right now. Well, all about hustle on the inside as a team. And, of course, the Nets and Jason Kidd have been doing a pretty good job themselves in that assist department as well. Tri-State 4 presents tonight's key matchup. And Miller, who was a thorn in the net side the first time these two teams met, not the case tonight. Nated Christich has outplayed him in that position so far. And Christich on his way to possibly having a career night. That's a shot that Miller usually going to knock down wide open from 15 feet and shaking his head a little bit, but hasn't gone his way thus far as Nated has had the upper hand, at least on the offensive end. Miller searching. He's two of eight. Kid setting up in the half court. Tristich led the way for the Nets in the first half, and he'll get an early touch. 15 points, five rebounds for Bibby. Carter, spin, forced to give it up. A lot of movement on offense right now as Christich will back in on Miller. Christich turns and puts it in. Nainid Christich 
16 points, seven rebounds, and the Nets within three. Unlike last night where they pulled the chair out from him, that time they did the same thing, but he kept his wits about him. More importantly, his balance and able to finish on the inside. Hooper handles that ball like a grapefruit. Here's Christich. Watch Miller give. See? He stumbles a little bit, but keeps his composure. And actually got him closer to the basket. Well, that, you're right. This time, Christich kept coming as opposed to feeling for the body. See if Miller tries it again. No, this time straight away. And Christich, a new career high on the turnaround. No, he's been the offense, and right now carrying the load. 18 points, seven rebounds. Weber up back in on Collins. Drop step. Bump. No call. Missed the jump hook, and Christich willing to mix it up. Feed it to Christich. Kick out. Vaughn, the reload. Christich gets the ball back. Collins driving to the rim. Puts it in. And one. How about that? Great hustle. Christich made the play. Collins finishes it off. You're going to look. Nated on the ground. Miller has it for a second, and Christich keeps it alive. Collins count the bucket. Nets lead by one, and it was Nated Kristic that made that play happen. Well, he didn't back off. He stayed with it, and you saw Miller had it actually taken away from him for just a second, but Kristic quick to get it right back. And a foul call. Timeout, Timeout with five and a half to go. Kristic picks up the personal. Kristic, the big half. And the big third. Nated Kristich trying to hit the all-star break with some positive thoughts. And I'm not sure you can get more positive right now than what Kristich has brought to the table tonight. That was a good night for Nated. They uh, cer certainly shown some confidence in him. And he has responded at the offensive end, showing a variety of, of moves. He's stepping out a little bit, knocking down some jump shots. And uh, right now the Nets are really running their offense through him, giving him as much uh, opportunity as possible. 18 points, well, eight rebounds. Not right now. He's on the bench. Well, right now he's going to get a rest, but he's thinking about being out there. 18 points, eight rebounds. Nainid nodding his head to Billy Thomas. I'm not quite sure if he's getting it. but I think he just nods to anything that he says to him. <laughs> Figure what's the worst that can happen. Don't like the color of your hair. Just nod yes. Yeah, hey, it's fine. Whatever. <laughs> and this one. And it gives you a different look at the offensive end when you have Nainit in there who's having a good night offensively. You got more of an offensive unit out there. He wanted Miller on that play. On the defensive side of the ball, and that meant that Christich picked up Sangaila. Best. That looks flat coming off the fingertips, but it goes down for Travis Best. But again, using that screen very well. And Kings a little confused on how they want to play that they've gone underneath quite a bit and the Nets have hurt them when they have done that. Seven nothing run for the Nets. Weber's open. Rims out and a collision inside. I believe beyond Christich I think. If it is it's number five and it is. So Cliff Robinson will pop off the bench. You see down low, right in the middle here, Nanit Kristic, they're locking arms, but Miller has inside position, and that's the takedown. 18 points, eight rebounds for Kristic. Had that strong start. He's been quiet offensively of late. And sits now with his fifth foul. For John Filippelli. Join us again after the All-Star Tribuca. This is Ian Eagle. We'll come back 